Strange things happen to the head here. Put all hope out of your mind and masturbate as little as possible. It drains the strength. That's all. Take them away. That was a scene from the movie Papillon, which is um, French for butterfly. It's named after a guy's tattoo. A true story of a man who didn't masturbate in prison, as the warden just advised, and escaped from prison. It's actually worth looking up the story of Papillon because the book and the movie are far less extravagant than the actual story. Oh, I messed with my mic here. Um, which brings me to today's topic, which is stop masturbating, you wankers. I find it interesting when I bring up this point because when I talk to my own generation, Gen Xers, and I say, look, man, we're addicted to pornography and we're masturbating way too much and it's hurting our marriage and it's hurting our, our chi, it's draining our life force. And the guys my age go, huh, yeah, okay. And they do it. My, my challenge, by the way, is called no wanks, hashtag no wanks. And you can only masturbate, AKA look at porn. The two are amalgamated, by the way, because they're the same thing. You, no one looks at porn and doesn't masturbate. And no one today masturbates without porn. Um, every 30 days. I don't, I'm not against porn. I don't think it should be banned. I don't want to arrest porn stars, but you are beating off too much and it's hurting your life. Gen X guys, it's hurting your marriage. It's making you weaker and stupider and lazier. And millennials, well, it's making you not even want to pursue relationships. I work with a guy we call Rat, who is a 23 year old virgin. I've brought him girls. I brought him three Southern bells. I found a porn star willing to fornicate with him. His response to all of these offers is no thanks. I told him I'm going to pay for a boxing gym and get him a motorbike so he can get his libido going. No thanks. When I suggested no wanks, he said no thanks and included the words, it's all I've got. That's what I get from millennials a lot. And there's a guy named Gary Wilson who wrote a book called Your Brain on Porn. He's got a great TED talk that explains all this. <clears throat> His contention is, what is happening with these young fappers? And that uh, reminds me that this is, I'm not the first guy to discover this. There's a previous thing called hashtag no fap. And these guys uh, on Reddit have uh, tried this crazy experiment. Isn't it interesting, by the way, that we're rediscovering tradition here? Catholics and old priests and men and old dads told us, you know, you'll get hair on your palms and don't do it. And we laughed at them and being anti-porn is seen as, as an Andrea Dworkin thing. It's for squares. So we laughed it off. And then we, as with all liberal concepts, we wiped out tradition and replaced it with something worse. So we have to reconstruct after all this deconstruction. And um, sorry, G Gary Wilson was talking about rediscovering this problem with masturbating where what happens is when you go to RedTube or, or Pornhub or whatever it's called, you see dozens of tens, basically. So you might uh, beat off to three or four of them, maybe ten. I don't know your habits. I used to have my one Ava Divine was my thing, but that's neither here nor there. And you, you cherry pick a few of the inc most incredibly attractive ones and you, you pleasure yourself. And uh, what your brain sees is you inseminating lots of the prettiest girls in the village. So it goes, well, this can't happen a lot. I mean, it didn't even work for Attila the Hun that long. Uh, I'm going to release some dopamine. So pss, your receptors pss, release the endorphins. Pss, and that is what you get addicted to. You've fooled your brain into thinking you're inseminating tens. And then when you're with a real woman, your brain goes, what are you doing with one broad? She's not even a 10. She's like a seven. Why are you wasting my time with this? Doesn't release dopamine. So it's, it's, it's conceivably less pleasurable for a millennial to be with a human being than it is to simulate this fake fornicating of a village. And I can't express enough the importance of delayed gratification. I am relatively new to this theory and I've tried it for about the past month, 30 days. 
And I tell you, I walk taller. My marriage is way better. The only way I can get sexual releases from my wife, so I'm basically stalking her in the hallways, and that is better for our marriage. And I've noticed one thing: I sing more. I'll be whistling on my bike. I sing in the shower. I really feel more alive. And there has been a lot of studies with kids where they they do this delayed gratification test where they say you can eat one marshmallow now or wait five minutes and have two marshmallows. And the kids who wait and have two marshmallows grow up to be happier human beings because they're capable of delayed gratification. Folks, the old fogies weren't necessarily wrong about everything. Before we throw out tradition and laugh at all their old wise tales, we might want to conjecture that they could possibly be true. I think they are. Please join me in quitting porn and masturbation and reducing it at least to a menstrual cycle. Once every 30 days, you may not no, you, you can only wank every 30 days. That's less than a menstrual cycle, but you get what I'm saying. No wanks. Please join me and tell me if your life has improved.